Hello and welcome to the validation video for SQL Power Architect Enterprise Edition. To follow along with this video, you can get the Enterprise Edition from www.sqlpower.ca slash architect. For this video, we will show you how to use the validation rules to find errors in your project easily and correct them. To start this video, I've reverse engineered a database into my playpen already, so we can start showing errors as we go. The first thing you need to do is go to the Validation Manager under the Windows menu. This Validation Manager holds all the validation rules we have in the Enterprise Edition. Each set of validation rules are grouped by a different label. We can enable and disable entire groups of validation rules by checking and unchecking the checkboxes on the left. We can also change the severity of an individual validation rule or disable the validation rule on the right. For this demonstration, we'll be using the generic validation rules and the MySQL validation rules. To do this, I will simply uncheck all of the validation groups other than these two. And I will also change some of the validation rules individually. To start, I will set one of them to be of an ignore level. Next, I'm going to set one of the validation rules to have a lower severity, in this case, a warning severity. I'm doing this for relationships that map columns of different types. Now that we've set up our validation rules, we can close this window and validate our playpad. When you close the validation manager, the validation rules will be run automatically. Now that the data model has been validated, we see there are several changes. In the playpen, we have badges beside objects that have errors on them, and we also have a table below with more description about each error. We have several icons that show us if there is a warning or error on the object. We also have the name and an icon showing us what type of object has an error on it. The critic type tells us what validation group the rule is involved in. The description helps us define what the error is so we know how to fix it. And on the far right are several light bulbs. The lit ones identify the error as having quick fixes, and the unlit ones mean we have to fix them manually. To do a quick fix, you simply left click on a light bulb and it will show you all the options that are available. For this error, we have a space in our physical name, which is not legal for the database platform we're going to forward engineer to. In this case, the quick fix will replace the space with an underscore. In the playpen, we can also use the badges to help us find problems in the data model. If you hover over a badge in the playpen, you'll see a tooltip with the error message. This error message is the same error that you get in the table below, but helps you identify the error more quickly. You can also left click on any badge to have it highlight in the table below, or you can right click on it to see possible quick fix options. The other place these validation rules are used in SQL Power Architect is when forward engineering. If we forward engineer our project to any database, we will see the errors that appear similar to the one in the table below the playpen. These errors can either be fixed through the quick fix method. We can also choose to quick fix all of the errors, cancel and go back and fix them in the playpen ourselves, or simply ignore them and create the script anyways. 